Hey guys, it's time for a, a longer play, Rapid. Um, some people really like the uh, the longer videos, so it's time. I'm rated 15.75, my opponent's rated 16.08, so just a bit higher. That makes it a 9.7, just a 9.7. And we have a Spanish, and of course I'm going for the Schliemann, or Janish, or Janish, of course. Now this is a more respectable opening than the Russo. I do not think, yeah, here we go, okay, so we we capture, like in the normal Spanish, you capture it away from the center with a d-pawn, and again we play this. Now if my opponent plays, thinks he's got queen h5 check, he's going to be in for a surprise. Because notice the queen protects the rook. Okay, so now this is a normal um, position. This is why the knight in the Spanish, I don't think, normally takes the pawn, because you're not really winning a pawn. Because um, this is obviously a fork. And after the knight retreats, then we have check, queen blocks, takes, and white loses castling rights. Okay, explain how I don't just win a knight. Explain this to me. No, I don't get it. I don't get it. Pawn takes pawn. We trade queens. And there we go. Blunders, guys. People, make them. Okay, 1584. Let's try again. Let's try again. And I have got my last pot of coffee for three months. Okay, we've got 1434. I don't know what we're gonna play yet. We shall see. Because my opponent has a uh, something to say about this as well. This is a 511 game though, okay. Um, I'm probably gonna go Scotch Bonnet because I'm having fun with that at the moment. All right, yes, we shall go Scotch. I mean, I could play Scotch Gambit. I could play... I mean, I don't know the mainline Scotch. That's the thing. You know, I'd play it. I could play it if I knew it. Ooh, okay. Quietness. Quietness, timidness. Blocks in the bishop and allows a center pawn push with tempo. Which I think is kind of the law, isn't it? Okay. The knight can go there and there. Um, or it goes all wee 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 all the way home. Or it goes in front of the king and gets in everybody's way. It's now blocking in the bishop, blocking in the other knight to some degree. Okay, this is not this is not smart. Now, what is critical? What is critical for white here? Uh, well, I want to complete development. I, I have stolen a march to some degree. I've got a space advantage in the center, which could find itself undermined, but I always have c4. Um, so my first thought is like bishop, bishop b2 castles. In general though, you know, knights, knights before bishops. This knight development means that both of these pawns are now got more, def oh wow. Wowzers, one, two, three. He's played five moves. He's moved that same horse three times. And where's it going? Well, I think generally his idea is going to be this, and he's just going to hunker down and think, which is making me think maybe this is a job for Freddie, Gary, and Harry, the Suicide Squad. Now, let's say I develop my bishop to here. What's going to happen? Could block with a knight, could block with a bishop, could have trade skis. I don't see any point in this. Um, I mean, my bishop does have a couple of other squares. It can't go there, it can't go there, because of these pawns. I don't really like, I don't really see the point in this, right? I do this, he puts his knight there. Pins the knight, yeah. Another thought is, do I want a short castle and use my f-pawn to break things open? Let's have a thing. Okay, so what's the situation, what do we know? I'm just trying to think what the principles are here. We have a closed center. That favors knights over bishops. 
It also means that tempo becomes less important. So it's more about just getting your pieces in the right places than it is, because no one's going to launch a huge attack quickly. So I'm thinking bishop e2 or bishop d3. I'm going bishop e2. If this knight comes in, I'll probably just castle and let him swap it off. Because honestly, mate, if you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with the same piece, be my guest, bruv. Now, I do have this with a pin. This bishop has to go there, because this pawn can't move. So if I do that, he's going to do that, and then he's going to castle. Um... See, oh, we just have the idea of just launching up there on the king side. This bishop is no threat towards this side of the board. This bishop is no threat towards this side of the board. Do you know what I mean? Because of all this nonsense in the way. So, I'm actually thinking now, I could do this. Let him do that. If he pushes like h6... So be it. Like, tempo isn't the, the name of the game here. Now I'm thinking queen d2, long castles, and then unleash hell. There we go. Queen d2. This is defended. All right? So if he takes, I take hitting the queen. He has to recapture with queen or knight, and then he loses a piece. So that doesn't work. There we go. Exactly on schedule. So I'm thinking we drop down back to e3. Yeah. Now, you see, if Laughing Boy here decides to castle, we have potentially takes, 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 right? Putting the queen on there with these two pawns gone. And now, what's this? Okay, I think he's preventing knight b5 and bishop b5 but missing the point entirely. Because I was never intending that. He may also be preparing a queenside advance. So another thing that crosses my mind now is, do I even need to castle at all? Right? But, okay, let, let's go back to the Freddy situation. I'm going to do the same move, right? And I'll tell you for why. It's because I, I might want to get my knight out of the way. And I want to put my knight somewhere useful, which could eventually be g4, right? So that's one thing. Another thing is the same, prophylaxis, just preventing his bishop or knight from gaining entry. 1584 in rapid. So this, I'm in the top 100 points that I've ever been in. My maximum's 1679 or 1675 or something like that. Okay. Kind of slow. Guarded, guarded, guarded. I don't know if I want to give up my knight for that bishop, but it, it is his better bishop, right? This is the bad bishop because his central pawns are on dark squares and he can't ever get through those ever, ever, ever. Right? Now, this bishop can, however, delete my pawns. Okay, so his bishop can't attack his own pawns or my pawns. It can't touch any of these, right? Whereas this one can. It can attack half of them. That's the difference. And it's taken me like four years of playing chess to realize that. Anyway, back to the story. Where were we? Okay, knight here, f4. Kind of liking it. Also, this bishop and, and the fact that his pawn's moved... I'm not too bothered if he if he has ideas of, of long castling either. Um, I'm happy with that knight there right now. It can just chill. Do I want to castle? Let's put the knight back here. What's this knight doing right now? Bugger all. It's kind of guarding that, but seriously. Okay. Knight here. Then I've got options of maybe short castles, maybe f4, right? trying to bust open the center before he's got a chance to castle. Now, he may he may castle short now. Right, last coffee. 
So expect a dip in performance, seeing as I'm going to be a lot less caffeinated and um, cortisol saturated. At least while I adjust. I might also get hit with a 48 hour headache potentially, which can happen if you give up coffee cold turkey. Ooh, okay. That does not bother me, right? First of all, it means that he ain't casting that way, okay? Now, if he wants to take and take and take, I'm just gonna castle. It didn't take me long to think that through, but I'm really not bothered about this. I could even take with a pawn, right? Thereby opening up a little bit of the e-file. Hmm. Now he, he can castle at will, of course. Oh, he's pushed by. What the hell was the point of that then? Explain. Was he trying to provoke me into taking? Then he takes and improves his bishop. Huh? That is a little bit baffling, has to be said. Okay. Now, he's, sti he's still, remember, he's not castled. And maybe he's worried about the bishop sack on h6. Takes, takes, queen there. But my... Gut feeling is f4 is important. The question is, do we have enough stuff lined up? There's no fun and games to be had over here. Um, do I want to do anything with like this rook? I think that the f rook is fine where it is. Do I want to do anything with this rook? Right, this pawn is, is hit once and defended. If I go f5, now, f4 now, what happens? I'll tell you what, I'm going to find out. I'm on 9 minutes 50. Opponent's playing too quickly. It's 45 Patma from Indonesia. Indonesia flag and the Poland flag are the other way up. Okay, I've, it's just, this is just one of those gut feel things, right? If I'm allowed to, I will probably take in the middle. I don't know about this, but that's worth thinking through. If if he if he doesn't take here, right? If he does take, I'll probably trade. Or queen takes actually probably more than that. Yeah, takes takes. If knight takes, queen takes, and I'm just got a threat of rue on there, haven't I? If he doesn't, take, and I'm don't know. I don't know which way he's going to go. Now, I am giving up a, a very decent bishop, if I do that. I mean, what, is there an alternative to trading? I didn't really think it through. You know, I just felt like, on instinct, we want to bust open the centre. And if he does this, I mean, do I even have e5? Is that just nuts? Takes, I can't take, because then he takes my queen, that's the problem. Now he thinks. <sighs> so if he takes me, I take back. I've got pressure on here, it's slightly defended. I've still got this battery, right? Even if my bishop's on that square. Is he gonna take with the, the you know, the wandering knight that's gone? <whistles> if he doesn't, then I've got this. And the knights can have to move. And it can't really go there. If it goes there, mm. no, he just falls to g3, and then where, where does he go? Because this pawn's on here, guarding that square. Yes, he's 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 dead. He's dead. Actually, your friend here is only mostly dead. There's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead. What a film. I remember as a kid, I was kind of disappointed that um, that Billy Crystal played Miracle Max because I kind of thought that it was Mel Brooks when I was younger. And I kind of liked Mel Brooks and from Blazing Saddles and all that kind of stuff. But Billy, you know, the more you look at it, what a character. Yeah, he really he really did kind of steal the show with that, with that performance. So the movie, if you're wondering, of course, is The Princess Bride. Um, 
many outdoor scenes from which were filmed near me. And there's a hotel called the Hallam Tower Post House Hotel in Sheffield, less than a mile from where I grew up, really. Um, and it was where the whole cast stayed um, during the filming of The Princess Bride. Okay, so th and this, this is, this is, I don't know. I, I got a feeling like my opponent is playing timidly. And we should not play timidly just because we're playing somebody a bit higher rated. I mean, I am 150 points higher rated. Okay. However, now he can't castle. Now, big question, do I push, do I take, or do I do something else? Okay, exhibit A, push. We shut down the center and everyone relaxes and has a cup of tea. I don't see any point in that whatsoever. Takes, we're almost certainly gonna see pawn takes back. That pawn will then be undefended on this square. It is also then attackable, happy days. If I allow him to take, again, it opens up the e-file a bit. The e-file is more open than it is in the case of I take and he recaptures, yes. So we know we're not pushing. Um, it's the only other thing I can think of. No, I, no I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take on principle, right, taking towards the center, We've got a fork here, right? He takes back, and we've got attacking ideas, right? So let's say I play knight f3. Is he going to do this? Do I? Oh, oh, oh! This I did not see. The bishop, he's a trapped. The bishop is a trapped. Come on, why didn't I see that, huh? Da, da. Okay, what's he got? What's he got? Nothing. Bishop takes, queen takes. Bishop's going to capture on here. Ow! Damn! Mm. Bring on the dancing horses. Okay, just take the free stuff. Sod it. Wherever they may roam. Okay, now he's defend he's now got this pawn defended two times. Um hunch is rook ad1. That's my initial thing. But I also like this because it's a fork. Huh? Yeah? Actually, this bishop's super well defended. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with the fork. Knight is going to take. I recapture, I think, with the pawn and tempo on this knight. You've got a semi-open F file. And everything's going to crumble around our feet, I think. Forty-five Patma, it's all going Pete Tom. Now, at this point, what we should do is be now. Oh, oh do you know what I realise? Nah, you take my pawn, I take your queen. You have to take my queen. I take your knight. You take my knight. Okay, you win a pawn. So what? You know, we're going to end up with I'm going to have like two bishops in the end game. Yeah, this is good. I didn't I didn't think that through very carefully, did I? Because he can actually do this with a follow-on capture. Oh, oh, uh, no, I don't have this. So if he does that, I think it's takes queen, takes queen. Do I have a follow-up from there? I don't think I do. Oh, he's run away. Run away, hey, yeah. I will run away, run away. Okay, take ski and queen can't take because of this, yes? Now, question is, 
Do we want to open up the G file? Possibly for this, for this Rukka. However, boom, boom, hello, hello, hello. Okay. Now I'm currently down a, a knight, uh, sorry, I'm up a bishop for a pawn. <sighs> this is free stuff. Um, but also, that's kind of nice, isn't it? That is kind of nice, too. You know? But then what if he just pushes here? I don't know if that pawn's got anything to do with anything. Do you know what I mean? It's like, seriously, is my pawn... This pawn, if anything, is a benefit to me. I've got an advanced h-pawn, so it's all it's going to do, if, if he spends time pushing that pawn forward, it's going to run its head into a wall... So I think that pawn is completely in inconsequential. I'm thinking possibly rook ad1, I'm thinking possibly knight g4 as being better moves here. So, got six minutes, heaps and heaps of time, I'm well up in material. That is defended once, attacked once. It ain't nothing wrong with this move. But the thing is, I'm not actually threatening the bishop, right? This actually threatens something, because I'm de that defended by the, the rook, yeah? And if he pushes, I just take here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play knight g4. I'm threatening to win this upon here. If he pushes, I can just take it, sod it, you know? And then this hangs and everyone dies. Farewell, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, so from tomorrow, I'm doing this strict regime. I'm doing, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, pure carnivore diet. Getting really in control of my sleep. I'm having no technology um, in the bedroom, so I'm not going to have a... Um, yeah, I just comes with check for goodness sake you know and queen can't take so what are you gonna do you know okay i have another chair we need to think this through yeah so i'm, I'm doing that um yeah getting in control of my sleep so no tech there i'm gonna get up at six o'clock six o'clock every morning i'm gonna go and earth i'm gonna go and see the sun come up with helping just set my hormone balance in the right way. Um, I mean, that's so natural, that move, isn't it? But what's the follow-up, really? Or do I want to just nudge that knight out of the picture? Or do I want to take the knight? But that kind of eradicates this, but then we've already had a conversation about that. Um, if I tickle this knight, where's he going? i just play rook ad1 now. Honestly, though, there really isn't too much to, to think about here. Okay, I'm going to throw in this check. I'm going to, probably going to play rook ad1. I'm probably going to play c3. Um, get, the knight, get that knight out of, the, out of the way. Something is about to appear. I'm thinking maybe this bishop might come to c4, eyeing up this pawn. This bishop's not very clever right now, to be honest. And, and he'd be a fool to trade that off. Okay. Okay, so there's really no super bad moves here that I can find, but hold my beer. I may be able to find one. Bishop there as well is kind of nice. Because I've always, I can always check him again. Nah. I think just bishop here, right? Bishop here. The pawn is in a pin. P -p pawn is in a pin. And it's attacked twice. And what are you going to do? He's got that. Defendish Bishopskis. I... I'd like to hit the bishop. Okay, I still I have this check though. I have this check. Um Defended by the rook still. King has to move again. And we're kind of going around in circles then, aren't we? 
I could actually just take here still, but then actually that puts my bishop in, in some peril. Okay, I'm going to push this, I think. Let me just sanity check, yes. Okay, there's, he can't go there, he can't go there, he can't go there. These are all out. This is out, this is out. He's got to go back here or here, right? Which definitely disimproves the knight. That's not even a word. And I can then win this pawn, I think. And that is now getting very perilous because then knight here, and it's like, what's he got? He's, no! Threatening mate. Knight moves, bishop takes c5, threatens mate. Queen has to take. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Were you listening to the dude's story, Donny? I was bowling. Then you have no frame of reference here, Donny. You're like a child who walks into a movie theater. Walter, what is the point? Huh? We all know who is at fault here. I mean, the Chinaman who peed on my rug, I can't go and give him a bill. So what are you talking about? What? what? Also, dude, Chinaman is not the preferred nomenclature. Asian American, please. Okay. All right. I think it's time for the, the most unusual choice of Queen's lineup at Live Aid. Um, Hammer to fall. I think hammer to four. Okay, here, he can't get there, he can't get there, he can't get... Th is, it, is it actually just mate? It certainly is. Ha! Huh. Got it. There you go. And for everybody there who, who likes the, the slower grain games and the grown-up openings, okay, okay, Janus Schliemann is not the most grown-up, but it's actually valid. It is actually valid. But yes, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, Queen, it was the first or second tune they played, Hammer to Fall. Not one of their, you know, best numbers, though, uh, almost popular. But yes, very satisfying. Let's have a quick look at the game review, because I was quite pleased with that, and I, I, I'd like it to say 1600 plus. 87, look at this, look at this. Arm wrestle, arm wrestle, we're wrestling, we're trying to... And I make it an error here. I make an error. It doesn't like F4. Well, screw you. This move hurts your chances. But now, after this... Leads to losing bishop? Yes, it wins a bishop. Oh, yeah, well, I, of course I knew this. Of course I knew this. Because the... What? Now, what if he just... What should he do? I, mean, look, I, I don't see how it wins a bishop. He retreats the knight. Knight g6 is the best. Let's say knight g8. Knight g8. And now it's saying, okay, you see, it doesn't win a bishop by force. Yeah. I, I know what chess.com is trying to do with the, the game review stuff, but sometimes these comments just don't make any sense at all. Having said that, I did win a bishop. So, yeah, yeah. With best play. But apparently the best move here was that, giving up the knight. But there you go, just one one little little move. And again, like I said at the time, it's too timid. You can't afford to be too timid. You know, it's it's like um, it's like just kind of cowering when you're being attacked by a stronger fighter. You can't afford to do that. You've got to, you've got to counterattack. Anyway, that was that was lots of fun. So, um, what did it... how did I do? Yeah! 
1900, I will take that and party. One mistake, that was my one mistake, but I, you know, I, I, I disagree. Okay, so here it's saying 0 0.65 in White's favor. This is 0 0.8, minus 0.86. Okay, so it's a pawn and a half difference, but, but, as I always say, we're playing human beings, not computers. Psychology plays a part. Computers don't appreciate this. Um, I don't really see how it hurts my chances, but let's, let's just... Yeah, I was kind of in two minds about giving up that bishop, I suppose, but I still felt like here, I'm good. What the computer wanted me to do here instead of this is to push pawn to a4. Kind of putting a clamp on this. Preventing my opponent from getting rid of his backwards pawn and gaining space on the queen side. But something told me... You know, I was going by instincts and hunch, I think, a bit here. Something told me my opponent was not minded to counter on the queen side. My opponent was more interested in curling up into a ball and trying not to get hit. But there you go. I may be wrong. And Stockfish is always right. But uh, there you go. I did. That was a lot of fun and uh, you know, a clear blunder in the first game from a 1600. So I'll take that all day long. Okay. Um, hope you enjoyed these couple of games. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.